Hi guys, so I'm making this video and I just want to be very transparent with everyone. Kaya hindi mo na ako mag-i-intro na pala ang saya-saya na Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Just something that's very personal to me and I believe that you also have the right to know what's happening in my life right now. Kaya magiging seryoso ako. Kaya before anything else, before we start, I just want to say na na magiging seryoso ang tema ng video na to. So, if you wanna know more about the story that I will share please continue watching but if this will be something you feel like na magiging mabigat sa kalooban nyo and wouldn't help you in any way sa current situation right now please um, don't watch this video na lang okay, let's start siguro sabihin na natin almost a month na rin I haven't been consistently updating my YouTube channel hindi na tayo nakakapag-upload everyday unlike before and it actually takes some time before I upload another video. And sa mga na-upload nating video, napapansin nyo rin na wala na si baby boy. Aww. Hindi nyo na siya nakikita. And a lot of people are asking sa comment section, a lot of people are sending me messages, asking me on Instagram kung kami pa ba or kung hiwalay na kami. Before I answer that, I just wanna share with you kung paano nagsimula ang lahat. How we started ni Baby Boy. We've faced a lot of judgment. We've faced a lot of challenges. We've faced a lot of people telling us na ganito, ganon. Because ganun naman talaga ang setup lagi Na pag may bakla at may lalaki Ang bakla, ginagamit lang Ang dami-dami namin narinig From friends, from family That's when we started But it's okay Because I understand that these people They just wanna protect me as well As their friend, as someone they love As someone that is important to them Kung kaya, we made sure Along the way, sa aming pagsasama Sa aming relationship That we were true to one another And kind of love that people would see To be genuine and true And I never had doubts, I never doubted it Because before I said yes Before I entered the relationship I knew the feeling he had for me was real. Na yung nararamdaman ko for him was real and that I am ready. I am buong buo and I'm not entering in that relationship just to make me feel complete. I am complete with or without him. That's why I was ready to love him and accept him in my life. Kasi alam ko, hindi ko siya gagawing panakibutas. Alam ko, hindi ko siya gagawing excuse sa mga pagkukulang sa buhay ko or sa mga problema in my life. And that's the same thing also that happened to him. He was complete. He was not totally okay. Yes, he was undergoing a lot of changes in his life. Sampung taon ang agwat namin. But then, we took the risk. We dived in sa tinatawag na relationship. And it was something beautiful. It was, it was something that we both asked for. That we both prayed for. And we found each other. He is my first. And you know, wala akong reference on how it is to be in a relationship. Kung paano na siya after a week, after a month, after a year. Everything for me was new. He is my very first. But then, sabi ko, kahit first ko siya, I know that I needed to do the right thing. I know that I needed to start it right. So, yun nga, if you've watched the video of how we met, pinakita ko doon kung paano namin minit ang family ng isa at isa. I introduced him to my family. He introduced me to his family because we did not want to disrespect anyone, lalong-lalo na sa family. Because, alam nyo, they really matter. And napatunayan yan, nung tumagal kami, that family in a relationship, they really do matter. Whether it be in good times or bad, they do matter a lot. Trust me on that because na experience namin yun. So going back to what happened, dumaan kami sa several changes in our lives, sa several challenges, sa several problems and heartaches. When you see us in front of the camera, we look so happy because we are. But at the back of the camera, sa likod ng camera, ang dami-dami naming differences that we need to settle. And over time, mas nare-realize namin na magkaibang tao kami. Habang tumatagal, lumalawak ang differences. Siguro because we're really getting to know each other well already. I don't know. Because this is my first time, as I've mentioned. But that is what I observed. And that is what happened. Alam nyo yun, magbabangayan talaga kayo, mag-aaway kayo. We had the biggest fight. Sobra-sobra. I'm, I'm the alpha in the relationship. I'm, I, I have the stronger personality. He's a really nice guy. 
bahay and wala akong masasabi doon. As you move forward, dumadami ng dumadami ang arguments, ang hindi pagkakasunduan. Until such time na parang nakakapagod na. Mapapagod at mapapagod kayo. We've been together for almost three years. And yung pagod, ito yung pinakagrabing pagod that I've ever felt in my life. And ang pinakagrabing pagod na hinayaan kong maranasan ko. Just because I know that I am in love. I know that what I feel is true for Harold. It is something worth fighting for. Marami siguro magsasabi sa inyo na ang rupok, tangatangahan. But then, sino bang hindi? Love ang pinag-uusapan natin. No matter how smart, no matter how intelligent you are. When love comes to your life and you know that it is true, walang wala yan. Wala yung talino nyo. Wala yung lahat. Because you will do anything and everything for love. And this is just not me. I also have faults. May mga pagkakamali rin ako. Oh, ang laki-laki. Didiretsohin ko na kayo. If you're asking me kung nasan si baby boy, he's actually just outside. We're okay. There have been changes in our dynamics. There have been several changes in the way we interact with one another. But those changes are simple changes and simple measures na pinagkasunduan namin because we both know that this is something more important than anything. At mas marami kaming mga bagay-bagay. All those differences that I mentioned a while ago, all those differences are just slowly falling into the right places. And that's what makes it even more beautiful kasi sa sobrang dami ng challenges na dumarating sa buhay namin, we know nakakasunduan kayanin namin. We know already how we react to certain pressures. We know already how we react to certain heartaches. Whether it be from friends or family or from other external factors around us. Natutunan namin yon. I'm saying this not because isa ako sa mga nananaginip na may forever or may whatever na mala Disney ang story. It's more of me just enjoying the moment, enjoying what we have, enjoying what we are now. Because no one knows what tomorrow will bring naman talaga. It's not an assurance. Every day is always treated as a gift. Huwag kayong matakot. Ang dami-daming quotes na kumakalat sa internet, ang dami-daming chika, ang dami-daming paniniwala na huwag mong ibigay ang lahat kasi wala na matitira sa'yo. But then, you know what? You'll never really experience the joy and beauty of loving if you have hesitations, if you have fear. Fear is nothing but the absence of love. Because when you truly love, there is nothing to fear. Pain is essential. It is part of the process. And pain is what makes you stronger. It's what makes you realize the true meaning of love. It will make you realize the answers to your whys. Ang lahat ng bakit mo sa buhay, kat mo yung ang lahat ng bakit mo sa buhay. I'm just sharing this with you because I just want to stop all the haka-haka, all the chismes, and all these people na nalulungkot because they're saying na hiwalay na kami. Alam nyo guys, you've been there ever since. Since the day we started this relationship and nakita nyo kami, how we grew up, how things changed, kung paano kami nagdagdag ng weight together, maging bahagi ka man ng LGBTQ or hindi. Love is real and it's just waiting for you it is waiting for you to be ready what can happen i also feared na masaktan but then sabi ko sa sarili ko <laughs> bahala na laban na go na kung go because you know ang mas masakit ay yung magkaroon kayo ng maraming what ifs in your life so never never allow yourself to have so many what ifs kung wala naman kayo mababanga wala naman kayo nasasaktan or naaapakan ibang tao and kung yun naman talaga yung alam nyo yung magiging source of happiness nyo, go for it. Ipaglaban nyo yan. Ilaban nyo yan. So for now, having said all that, paminsan-minsan sisilip si baby boy sa vlogs. Paminsan-minsan makikita nyo siya. But it's not anymore like before. Because right now, ang dami-dami niyang pinagdadaanan. And that is not my story to tell. I hope that clarifies everything. And I hope that stops all the haka-haka and I hope that it made you smile in a way. So to all the time she's out there, maraming maraming salamat. Don't worry. We're okay. We're just growing up. Like we all do, lahat tayo nag-grow up. Please continue to support us. Please continue to pray for us. Maraming maraming salamat. We will always be here for you kahit anong mangyari. Thank you so much for watching this. So I hope may natutunan kayo sa vlog na to. And this is something na sabi ko, gagawin ko talaga ng isang buong video. Just because 
this is something worth sharing. This is something na we all can learn from. So if you have your own lessons in life na pwedeng i-share, please don't forget to comment it down below also. Dahil ang dami-dami nating natututo from one another. Ako pinag-screenshot ko yung mga gusto kong comments. Just to prove to you. So ayan, nag-screenshot po ako ng mga comments na nagugustuhan ko. And I keep it. And I always read it every time I have problems or every time I want to reflect on something. Kaya keep your comments coming. Maraming maraming salamat, Dam. She's again for always supporting us. Magkita-kita ulit tayo sa next video. Ito pa rin ang inyong nag-iisang pambansang madam. Madam Ellie. May mag-ahay sa inyo. Mag-ahay ka na. Bye! Bye!